Hi. Today's story title is Going to Market. Author Meera Tendulkar and illustrators. There are two persons. Rijuta Gate and the second one is Santosh Pujari. And the person who has translated is Madhav Chavan. And the publisher is Pratham Books. My mother takes me to the market. There are many shops and many people. Some people buy, some just look around. What will my mother do? First, we go to the ration shop. Mother buys wheat, rice, sugar and dal. We do not carry the bags. The shopkeeper sends them home. So this boy, he goes to the market with his mother. Wherein first he goes to the ration shop where his mother buys all wheat, rice, sugar and dal. See, this is the ration shop. Next, mother stops at the vegetable shop. I ask, are you going to buy vegetables? No, she says. The lady tells us, come and buy. The vegetables are fresh. So the vegetable lady welcomes them to come and buy. See, there are different vegetables here. Can you all see? Why did mother stop here? Oh, it is an oil depot. The shop is filled with the smell of oil. Mother complains to the shopkeeper, oil prices are high. He is not happy. Next they went to the oil shop. There mother complains to the shopkeeper that the oil prices are so high. But hearing this, the shopkeeper is not happy. See, this is the oil depot. We reach the fish market. Some people don't like the smell. I love fish. Look at the way the fisherwomen dress. Do you see the fat cats? They simply sit there, eat fish and get fat. These cats throughout the day sit near the uh, fish shop and uh, eats all the fishes which get spilled down becomes very, very fat. See how the women have dressed up. It is very different, right? We stop at the dairy. Mother buys some ghee and paneer. Why don't they keep ice cream? I like ice cream. Do you think my mother will give me ice cream? So next they go to the milk shop where his mother buys milk, paneer, everything. He wants ice cream also. Are you going to buy some pots? I ask my mother. There is no one in the shop. People buy pots and pans when there is a wedding or a festival. So people buy pots and pans only when there is a festival or a wedding at their home. Can you all see the vessel shop here? So these hanging here are the pans and this one, this one are the pots. Yes, these are also pots. Can you all see this? Stop. Don't go into the shop. I shout. My mother likes the cloth shop. She likes to feel cloth. The shopkeeper shows her many saris. But she does not buy even one. So next they went to the cloth shop. There the shopkeeper showed all the different varieties of saris. His mother likes to touch the saris fabric and feel that. She loves to do that. This is the cloth shop. This is what I wanted. The toy shop. The bear is so big. I want the scooter and this toy truck. I promise my mother 
I will only look and touch. I will not ask for a toy today. I will get one on my birthday. So he, next he goes to the toy shop where he sees all the bear toy, scooter, truck, everything. He promises his mother that he will not buy anything now and he will get one on his birthday. Wow! See the toy shop here. What all toys they have in the shop, right? Oh, wow. All the kinds of shops, pictures are here. See, this is the ration shop. This one is the oil depot. This one is the vegetable shop. And this one is the vessel shop where they have pots and pans. Did you all enjoy the story by visiting all the shops here? Yes. Try these. Try to put the different things you bought when you went to the market with an elder person. Second one, did you also smell different things in the market like this boy? Write about the different things you smelled and what did it remind you of?